From the Tanke Fungaruma mine in the Katanga, sitting on a matrix of uh, dolomite, we have a very thin layer of cobalt and calcite crystals intersecting the matrix. Dusting that would be some druzy quartz crystals. I think on this, I mean, not druzy quartz crystals, would be some chrysocolla crystals. Typically from Tenke we'd have some druzy quartz over it as well. I'm not sure if we have druzy quartz here. I think this is just the cobalt and calcite with the with the dusting of the chrysocolla. Perched on that are these uh, uh, black crystals. Now under closer magnification you'll find it's waxy black, black botroids of heterogenite. So this is the one point of display. So if you have it lying flat on a turntable you'd be looking at it like this. Looking from the top down, this would be the effect. You can actually zoom into the still pictures. There's a whole, uh, a whole spectrum of things happening on top here. Then when we turn it over, we've got a totally different point of display, which is not at all unappealing. We almost think we're dealing with a different specimen here. Also, once again, the, the th fine coating of cobalt and calcite, which has been dusted with uh, almost a powdery chrysocolla, forming little uh, uh, botroids, little stalagmite stalactite. Of course, flat, so they're not projecting much off the main ore. All the way from the Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga, lovely pink undertones here.